Welcome back to another episode of the Gruesome Garage. Even though we're not at the garage, we're at the compound with my brother. And we decided that we need to figure out the cam position sensor on a running Jeep. Because we can't figure it out on ours. We just need to figure out exactly where the shaft is supposed to sit at top dead center. So that's what we're doing. We just pulled off the fan shroud or the auxiliary fan just to make sure we can see top dead center because we couldn't see it without that. And Matt's spinning the motor over and we're gonna find out what's going on. Here we go, boys. We think we got the cam position sensor in the right spot. Might be a tooth off, so we're gonna try this out and then move it a tooth over, but let's get going. Let's give it a crack. Jeff, stop. So we still got nothing here. So like we said before, we think it's a tooth off. We're gonna try, move it over, see what happens. Well, we're back here. It's the next day. We both got fresh heads and it really helped. I talked to somebody, um, the guy that sold us the computer, Anthony, he sold it up, already set up and tuned for a Jeep. So I assumed that we could just plug it up Get it started, get it running, you know, no problems, but obviously that's not the case. First thing is he had his Jeep set up to have a GM trigger wheel, like a 36 gear trigger wheel on the front of the harmonic balancer. And we don't have that, we have the stock one set up. So I had to change that. And also I realized, uh, I learned that we have to set up a base timing on this. I thought, oh, I assumed that it would already be set up, but we have to set it up every time, apparently. So right now we're in the midst of that. We took our old school timing light out and it seems like it doesn't work, but we took a spark plug out, laid it against, and we're getting sparks. So to me, that means that the timing light doesn't work and we kind of need that to set our timing. So we need to go to the auto parts store. So, many a beer later, a couple days, we couple finally... heads against the wall a few times, we finally figured it out. My brother and I, we were scratching our heads for a little bit, we screwed around with the camshaft position sensor a ton of times, we screwed around with the crank sensor, we said it had to be timing of some sort. You know, our computer already came with a pre-tune from our friend Anthony, so we knew that it was gonna work, but the beginning reason it didn't work is because the computer was set up for a GM uh, crank position sensor, and we're just using the stock cam position, or crank position sensor right now. So I changed that in the Tuner Studio, and it still wouldn't work. Um, we tried to set base timing, still wouldn't crank over, and you know we we just we checked for all of our sensors make sure we got signal we looked through the tuner studio and we couldn't figure it out so we went back to our original plan screw it you know let's just twist the cam position sensor one more time 180 just try it and i guess after screwing with it for so long i must have put it in with on the exhaust stroke, not the intake stroke, and we finally got it fired. But we didn't have the GoPro with us, guys, sorry. Now, you can see, we put the cam sensor back to where it's supposed to be. Where we think it's supposed to be. And we're gonna set base timing again and see if we can't get it to run for you guys. Let's fire it up. Let's turn it on.
All right, guys, as you can see, it's, uh, it's running, but you have to play with the throttle a little bit to get it to stay running. And our theory is it's not getting enough air. And we originally put the idle air control from a motor that was sitting outside for a long time. And uh, we decided to throw it in from one of our working Jeeps just to see if that made a difference because it seems like the plunger was a little stuck. So let's test it out. Let's check it out. She's dying. I guess not. Guys, as you can see, it's running. But we are this close. It's only, the only way it runs is you have to hold the throttle open a little bit. So we're still not master tuners, obviously. And we're going to bring this thing to the master of Cherokees. Anthony. And uh, we want him to tune it safely and uh, get as much, squeak as much as we can out of it without being too risky, because. This is a stock bottom end, a 200,000 yeah, mile stock miles. bottom end. But so as most of you guys know, we put a camshaft in it last year and we skipped a big step when we put it in. We did not know about that step. We are not professionals. We didn't properly degree the cam. So it might be correct. We matched the dots up on the timing gears, but it could be a few degrees off. We didn't have the kit or anything to do so, the proper big old gold dial. So we ordered that up and we're gonna take 10 steps backwards and pull this whole thing apart and check our valve timing just to see if... Just to, just to make sure, we want to eliminate every possibility and uh, we really want this thing to be reliable. We want to do it right. And we really missed that when we did the camshaft a year ago. So it stinks, but we want to make sure we have no issues down the road. So. Tune in next week. You'll see us go 10 steps backwards and, and this thing will be torn apart. apart.